We've heard from voters. It's time to catch up with the candidates. The big races in the state are the primary contest that will decide which two candidates will face off in November in the governor's race. Let's begin that part of our team coverage with CBS 4's Ted Scouten, who's live in Orlando. He's with the Gwen Graham campaign. Ted? Elliot and Rudabay, Gwen Graham has been on a South Florida swing today. You know, it's a very voter rich area for the Democrats. She began the day in Miami in Little Havana, then went to West Palm Beach. She's now heading here to Orlando, where she's hoping to have a victory party this evening. We need a little help from our friends. Thank you. Gracias. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Gwen Graham beginning her day at Versailles in Little Havana, serving up Cuban coffee and conversation. Today is, is election day, and I'm encouraging people, if you haven't voted already, get out and vote. It's very important, and I'm looking forward to celebrating tonight. <laughs> Going into this primary day, polls show that Graham holds a lead, but others have been catching up. She's taking one last chance to woo voters who haven't gone to the polls yet. My commitment to the people of Florida is that when I'm governor, it's going to be your lives that are improved, not the lives of the special interests and the lobbyists who have had control over Tallahassee for the last 20 years. Nova Southeastern University political scientist Charles Zeldin said one advantage she has is her last name. Graham's strength is name recognition. This is a big state. Uh, most of the candidates running are either not politicians or they're from South Florida or they're from Tallahassee. They have regional recognition, but outside of that region, who knows them? And Graham is not afraid to use that name recognition. Public service is in my blood. My father, Bob Graham, was the example and is the example of, of, of serving the people. Uh, and I think we have gotten away from this. This isn't about serving a political party or serving, in the case of Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump. Now, only a few hundred people can fit into the space here where Gwen Graham has chosen for her party this evening, so they're expected to use an overflow room just to get her supporters in here. That party is expected to begin at 8 o'clock this evening. Now, 